Babe, are you prepared for this professional level boogie boarding? <laughs> Sucks ass, so it's amazing to watch him. Look at look at Danny's impersonation of how Mike vlogs. Did you guys <laughs> Do I do that? Do I bounce when I vlog? All right, as I was saying before, I was interrupted by these hooligans. Yes. We are going on vacation this weekend, a little romantic getaway. We're going down to Laguna Beach to this beautiful hotel called The Montage. And as you may have seen on Impulsive, once Logan found out about this, he let me know that him and Josie may be going there too. And Amara has made it very clear she wants to get away from my hooligan friends. She wants some alone time. She wants a little romance. And she's also stated that there will be repercussions if he does show up at the hotel. It's an unfolding situation. And obviously, we'll keep you updated here on The Night Shift. And while I'm here, it's probably a good time to say, welcome back to The Night Shift, ladies and gentlemen. You're working late and so are it's time to clock in. No olvide suscribirte al canal de Mike. In English, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And now a word from our sponsors. Hello there. My name is Dr. Howie Felter Snatch, and I work the night shift here at the University of California, Los Angeles. Our willing subject today goes by the name of Amara Maple. You know what? Actually, we need Lana Rhodes for this one. Our willing subject goes by the name of Lana Rhodes, and today we'll be handing Miss Rhodes objects of varying stiffness and examining her reaction. Your first object, Miss Rhodes. Ooh! Your next object, Miss Rhodes. Wow, it's so floppy. It is floppy, yes. Mmm, too bendy. Here are Miss Rhodes. <gasps> Ooh, I like this one better. And your last object, Miss Rhodes. <gasps> oh my god, it's amazing! It's so hard! Just as I suspected. Now, as you can tell, Miss Rhodes reacted resoundingly more positively to objects of increased stiffness. For this reason, my colleagues and I recommend Blue Chew. It's a chewable tablet shipped to your door and taken before sex to increase stiffness and satisfaction for your partner. Head to the link in the description below and use code NIGHTSHIFT for a one month free trial. Now if you excuse me, my subject and I have some more experimentation to do. <laughs> you see her face? Babe, what will your face look like if you see Josie and Logan at our hotel? It's the face of murder. Well, show them what that face looks like. Oh my god! Are you even thinking now about going to that hotel? Go somewhere else. <laughs> Where are you driving to? Just wondering, curious again. I think we're going 10 minutes away from you guys. This girl threatens to kill me all the time, and I assure you that she will try to at some point, but I don't want that wrath coming back to you, man. All I want to do is ride a tandem bike with my girlfriend. Leave me alone. It is a romantic couple's getaway weekend, and you are a part of my couple. <laughs> what happened to us? <laughs> Loki. <laughs> Let's just go there together, bro. Yes! <laughs> all right, got the bags all packed up. That's a great bag, by the way. Killed my boyfriend, whacked him. All right. Lana Baskin. All right, that's enough from you. Also coming along with us for the little weekend getaway, a couple pairs of custom Air Maxes made by the homie Marco Terzo. Well, I got that. God dang, is that that gray buttery toast, honey? What do you think about travel during Corona times? Do you think we're taking a big risk this weekend or what? No, you're healthy. Oh, oh that'd be awesome. <laughs> Alright, we're leaving, man. I'm sure I'll be seeing you again real soon. I swear. I will kill you. What? I don't understand how I, I became the problem. There You're are, the one with the temptation, there are, Michael. There are other hotels there, Logan. Wait, I'm not staying at your hotel. Oh, then I don't care. Uh, what's it's the problem? What are you trying to do, Mike? Alright, see you, man. Oh. Have a good weekend. Oh. See ya. God dang, god dang. Killed my boyfriend. It. Stop, because I'm not Move using it. Off a Come on. There is no way those bags are going to fit in there. Wait a second. This is actually going to work. Oh! Babe, don't break it. I don't know if you could break a Lamborghini. I think it would be more of like a dent. Babe, easy. Do you think that's fine or not? I don't know. I feel like it's going to pop up in midair. Are you allowed to pack the trunk like that? No. I'd pack your trunk. Well, this episode is going to be a little bit different. The last episode I shot, I put like 56,000 man hours into it. This one's going to be a lot looser. This one's going to be loosey goosey. I, mean, I don't I'm know. I'm going to make jokes about my vagina because you just said that. Why? Because I said loosey goosey. People are going to make jokes about your vagina. Your vagina's not loose at all. People I like to joke about that because, you know. Because you had done pornography. Babe, can you tell them that my pussy is tight? And that this pussy be popping? <laughs> Anything to add, babe? I want KFC, mother Nothing more hood rich than stopping at KFC in your Lambo. <laughs> As I've mentioned before, the night shift is going to become a food vlog. <laughs> and today we have a food so important that my girlfriend is smelling the biscuits. 
remember exact memories. On today's menu, we got chicken tenders. We got Nashville hot chicken tenders, which are new here. We got some macaroni and cheese, the coleslaw, the mashed potatoes with gravy, and of course, the buttermilk biscuits. Give me some of them dipping sauces. Got the classic chicken tenders. We're dipping it into the nice honey mustard. Mm, it's nice and greasy. Babe, what's wrong with you? You just took a bite out of two biscuits. Like, I actually wanted to eat them. You're not supposed to be eating carbs right now. Where's the mac and cheese at? Finish what you're eating first. No, I need to mix it all together. Where's the mac and cheese? I need all of it at once. Oh, look at that shit, dude. That was actually kind of scary, Loki. <laughs> Gravy and biscuit. This girl's living life right now. This is the jam. That's it. We're back on the road. Look at this view. Babe, do you know what the sunset is gonna look like out here? Beautiful. Not better than me. Not better than you? Babe, turn the camera off. All right, we'll be back after the scheduled break. All right, so we're just kicking it right now. We're going to this place called Nick's Laguna Beach. Supposedly, it's like the best spot to eat here. I guess we're gonna separate the tables. We're gonna sit like six feet away from each other. One thing I do know for sure is, God dang. Wow. I like this outfit. I like the shoes. Let me see the let me see the kicks. Oh, got the Chanel shoes. Guys, I've been working on being more stylish because my boyfriend makes fun of me. <laughs> Do you have a hairbrush though? On some for real real shit. Dude, imagine there was two of you. And it, it was a twin and we like to have sex with the same guy. Like threesomes <laughs> with identical twin Lanas. Are you getting hard right now? And like we both just had our own side of your all right, that's enough. This is a family channel. Does it look big in this dress? She's dead serious right now. I tell her, I'm like, yo, it looks a little bit smaller in this dress because it's black. And she's like, well, what do you mean? What does it look like normally? I'm like, yo, you have one of the fattest asses in the entire world. She's like, what do you mean? Wait, does it look like ridiculous? You're making it seem like it's like, like that girl. Lana Rhodes? No. <laughs> all right, so we just got to the restaurant. I was really interested to see how this would work out. Basically, the tables are kind of like split up and you have to wear your mask when you walk around the restaurant. And then they give you little bags to put your mask in when you're not walking around. All right, so we got some asparagus fries here and we got some, what are these shrimp taquitos? Go for it. <laughs> what size would you say they are? It's so big. <laughs> we got a nice filet mignon here with the fully loaded potato with the sour cream and bacon. Even more fried chicken, another biscuit. True fat people right now. And this is it for the night. We got the butter cake. And of course, it wasn't very long before she came around to my side of the booth. Cuddle. She's also drunk, by the way. Drunk How are you feeling? Hi, it's me, Ashley, the drunk slut you picked up. <laughs> and oh my god, he has a Lamborghini. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we're back at the hotel right now. Lana is playing one of her classic role playing <laughs> scenarios where she's Ashley, the drunk slut. And she wanted another bottle of wine, even though she's already completely fucking ripped. Hi, I'm Ashley. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. So here's the deal a million times I've been on beach vacation, similar to this one, having had the right equipment to get the job done. Today's different. We got these high performance boogie boards over at CVS and we're about to tackle some of these killer waves. It's a picture perfect day here on Laguna Beach, but look at those waves. Those things are just gonna come crashing down on us. Babe, are you prepared for this professional level boogie boarding? I killed my boyfriend, whacked him, want a basket. I'm not using any of that. Can you stop saying that? So what if you actually do die boogie boarding and then people think that I killed you because all the footage. Because you keep saying me. Carol Bass. Just for the record, guys, if something happens to Michael in the ocean today, I did not cause it. <laughs> he woke up early, early in the morning, and that's the last time that I saw him. All right, listen, here's the deal. Listen up. My boyfriend's <laughs> talking to you. The waves are massive. They're crashing right on shore. They're unboogie boardable. 100% unboogie boardable. But Amara is telling me that the people at home would love to see me get my bones crushed by a giant wave. I think it would be a very enjoyable moment for the vlog, babe. Come on, do it for the vlog. Do <laughs> my boyfriend whack. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, we're gonna watch Mike get smooshed by waves. <laughs> Exactly what you want. I got fucking thrashed. Babe, what are you making? Your face. Knock off Adam Sandler ass. Wait, I don't think we can stick enough sand on here to make a nose as big as yours. Hey, <laughs> <gasps> <laughs> look at that PDA. Babe, look at the PDA couple. I know, I'm still, it's never, gonna change, it. it's never Babe, gonna change. It's never gonna change my thoughts. Be that We're not gonna be, but can I tell you something? Babe, what? You know how you always talk about having a baby? Yeah. Now's your chance. <laughs> That's some little girl's baby. It should be very upset if I took it, okay? All right, guys, another food update. Today we're taking it a little bit lighter after last night's feast. We woke up still stuffed from last night. Stuffed. 
food update on the night shift. Amara has just ordered some chips and guac, which by the way were $34. $34! Oh, yeah, I'm trying to eat that. <laughs> Alright guys, we're still in Laguna Beach, but we're about to head home. I know this video has seemed like super fun filled by the water, boogie boarding and all that stuff and eating a lot, which which it was at times. As you'll know when you watch this, it was also during a time of severe unrest and pain in this country. People are in pain, people are reeling from years of abuse and mistreatment, and I don't want the night shift to become a platform where we focus on these kind of issues because I know you guys are looking for entertainment and looking for ways to escape your daily lives. I didn't want it to appear like we weren't thinking about this, like this wasn't on the top of our minds. And like I said, we're gonna cover this in detail all week on Impulsive, so if you wanna hear more about it, you can definitely see it there. Everybody who's watching this episode, please continue to stay safe, stay positive. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this week's episode of The Night Shift. We are clocking out. Clocking out. See ya.